Again, you're just going to follow the first two steps. You have to write them in slope-intercept form. So for each one of these equations, you're going to set, you're going to solve for y. So the first equation, you can see my y is being multiplied by 3, or I'm sorry, added by 3 and being multiplied by negative 2. So I'll subtract a 3x. And that leaves me with negative 2 equals negative 3x minus 15. Now I need to undo multiplying by negative 2, so I'll divide by negative 2. So I have y equals a positive 3 halves x um, plus 15 halves. Okay, And just leave it as a fraction. Just remember that 2 goes into both of those. Negative divided by negative becomes a positive. Over here, I can see I am multiplying by negative 2 thirds and adding an x. So I subtract an x. So I have, therefore, I have a negative 2 thirds y equals negative x minus 5. Does anybody remember what you do? Um, how do you get rid of a fraction? Yes? Multiply by the reciprocal. Very good. So let's multiply by negative 3 halves. Now, remember, when you multiply a quantity by a number, you have to put it in parentheses. Because that's telling you you have to multiply both the quantities by that parenthesis. Right? Just like when you divide, you have to divide both the numbers. When you multiply, you have to multiply both the numbers. So any number multiplied by its reciprocal goes to 1. So we're left with y equals a positive 3 halves x plus 15 over 2. Multiply a whole number times a fraction, convert the whole number to a fraction, and multiply straight across. Now, before I even graph, what do you guys notice about these two lines? They're exactly the same. So if you were to graph them, you'd have exactly the same solution, right? So obviously, yeah, you could go ahead and graph it. And 15 halves is like 7.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 3 over 2. 1, 1, 2, 3 over 2. It's going to look something like that. But, and it's the same graph twice. So therefore, it is the solution is infinite many solutions. Because they don't just intersect at one point. They intersect at every point, because they're the same line. It's consistent, and it's dependent. OK? And that's it.